and welcome to Watch It Paint It. Today we're painting a new game to the channel, Fire Team Zero, from Emergent Games. Now, Emergent Games were really cool, really kind, back when I was an even smaller channel with like under 100 subscribers, and they sent me over 100 models to this game. Unfortunately, in five months, I've not got around to actually painting them. I've been massively busy growing the channel and making as many videos for you guys as I can. And unfortunately, I don't own the game, which is a sort of uh, necessary drive to painting models, as I'm sure a lot of you appreciate. However, I've seen that they've got a second print on Kickstarter at the moment, and I thought now's a perfect time to, to produce some tutorials for their models. So I'll put a link to their website in the description below, as well as a link to the current campaign on Kickstarter. So if you've not seen this game, go and check that out, guys. In this tutorial, we're going to be painting the rat Shadro Dakator. For no other reason than he looks pretty badass, so that's the only reason I picked him. I'll start by just showing you the model. Uh, I've not primed this at all. I'm going to use uh, Vallejo's game colour as the primer and base coat in one go, as I'm finding that's working quite well, and it's always raining so I don't go outside. So we're going to start with Dead Flesh by Vallejo, and this is going to be the primer and most of the base coat. This guy is primarily sort of white, and I'm going to use this, this sandy colour as the sort of shade of most of that white. Just trying out different things in uh, in painting white models really and this is one i've not tried yet so i thought i'd give this a go um so you just see i'm using quite a it's a cheap brush so i didn't realize why you'd ever have cheap brushes but applying the prime is a good reason and then just applying a thin even coat all over there and then we're going to be using vallejo's cayman green that's a dark green so if you're using the army paint set i think that one's the elf green from that range or at least the zombie side range um so i'm back to my regiment brush now by the army painter and that's uh, for the base coat really i'm going to try and use that as much as possible although straight away switching down to my detail brush to apply some dead black so that's for his belt and the um the dagger sleeves that he's got he's got also got a couple of straps across his his leg there and a pouch on his right leg that's hard <laughs> upside down and not my leg but yeah that's his right leg so this is the detail brush i'm always extra extra careful with black because it's so hard to uh, paint over if you mess up so i take my time and use a small brush there cold gray by vallejo's next and that's back to the regiment brush and that's for his boots and his gas mask all of these layers will be painted on quite watered down and i'll be doing several well one extra coat off camera normally Leather Brown next, this is the Vallejo range one which is slightly more yellow than the Army Painters one and this is to paint on his little pouch on the front and his rucksack on the back. So I'm using the Regiment brush once more for this, just getting a thin even coat all over it and then I'll switch down to the detail brush just to t tidy up the side and bottom of that pouch as well as the straps that connect his rucksack to his arms there. Uh, there's one on each side. He is wearing it old school no one shoulder bag wearing for this gentleman pale flesh next by vallejo this is for his skin so you've got his neck showing through and two hands for this uh, for this model uh, survivor skin or barbarian flesh by the army painter would also be fine that's quite a lot darker but you know skin skin i was just trying to paint it light like it looks in the the, the artwork really um, but the whole model looks light there so it could just be the lighting he's in Claymore Blade by the Army Painter. This is my light metallic, and this is for his two knives, his belt buckle, and a couple of clasps on his um, satchel on the front there. Uh, just taking my time with the knives there. I'm also just going to paint two little uh, buckles on his uh, backpack and the rim of his gas mask there as well. So we're on to shading. So that was the base coat done, and I'm going to use the light, sh uh, light tone by the army painter and the regiment brush and I'm going to apply this to all the browns and the that dead flesh and his skin as well so that's all the light colors done and then I'm going to use the survivor shader which is the black shader by the army painter and I'm going to do all the other colors with this so that's his uh, his trousers his shoes uh, and his knives to give them a tarnished look and also just go back over that rucksack to make that look darker for his base, I'm going to default back to my usual dead black uh, by the Army Painter. Use the regiment brush and just apply a nice thin layer of that once or twice around just to make him pop and stand out on the table. So we're on to highlighting next and we're going to go back to that base colour of that dead flesh by Vallejo. Switching down this time to my uh, detail brush and I'm going to be painting quite broad strokes but all of the raised parts of both his shirt and his coat there. So hopefully you can see here painting in basically painting back in that base color just leaving the shade in the very 
most recessed areas of the model. So all of those folds in his fabric, nice and thick uh, highlights. Uh, thick as in the, the width of the stroke, this paint's quite watered down still. And just going around the whole model, make sure you get the cuffs of his, of his jacket there and a lot of his hood, as you'd expect. Um, a lot of light catching there and then I did the same on the other side but I just stopped the video at that point as it was more of the same. So the next highlight is Brain Matter Beige. This is the slightly yellow, slightly off-white but more or less white by the Army Painter and now I'm going back around again and painting a thinner line over all of those parts I've just painted. So just catching the, the most raised edges of all of those folds and his cuffs again and anywhere the light would be hitting so again his, his hood primarily here quite a lot of that would be white the light would be shining from above so in the artwork he looks like he's wearing white so then I wasn't happy with my blending there so I've taken brain matter beige and a glaze medium I've mixed about 10% of the beige with 90% of the, the glaze and I've just covered the whole of the white area in that with a light coat and allowed that to dry and that's just uh, really blended the colors together and toned his coat more white and then unfortunately as of normal my camera ran out of battery so I've missed a lot of that apologies so that was Cayman green there on the the trousers just highlighting back those back up while I was telling you about my technical difficulties as always uh, once that highlight that was the thicker highlight we're going to use 50% Cayman green mixed with 50% moldy clothes by the army painter and I'm going to be applying a thinner layer of this highlight to all of the most raised parts and all of those folds just along the edges of all those folds on his trousers really trying to make them pop out a little bit more now after that's done we'll be moving on to um, claymore blade once more and just uh, highlighting back up all of those silver areas so his knives and those clasps and the buckles on his shirt as well as I just added a couple of buckles to his um, boots there just to add a little bit of flair razzmatazz. So on to highlighting the leather brown, just taking leather brown again and I'm just dry brushing this across his rucksack there. Uh, cold grey will be next and with the detail brush I'm just painting on the tips of his boots and I'm giving an edge to all of those dead black straps and his knife, knife holders, knife sheaves that I added in originally. So onto his um, goggles I'm going to be painting in some uh, sort of red reflective glass for him. So I'm using crusted saw, not slaw, not cold slaw, crusted saw, and that's to paint in the base of the glass. And I'm gonna use prison jumpsuit orange, and that's just to paint in two little bits of orange in the bottom of each glass. And then I'm gonna take gloss varnish by Vallejo, and I'm gonna be painting the whole of those circles areas just to give them a reflective coat as best I can. Anyway, this is make it nice and shiny, lay him down so the gloss didn't run down his face. And that's the model completely finished. Just giving you a little zoom in of his goggles there so you can see sort of what I did. That looks fantastic on the table. Obviously when it's zoomed it's more difficult to see. 57 minutes, that's all this model took. I think that's one of the fastest models I've ever done. Really enjoyed painting it. And if you guys want to see any more, let me know in the comments below. If you've got a specific model you'd like to see, let me know because I've got no preference. I'll paint any of them if, as long as you guys want to see them. Don't forget to check out Fireteam Zero on Kickstarter. Links in the description below. Thank you all very much for watching.